Hi, I'm Alex Williams, Enterprise Writer for TechCrunch here at the Open Compute Summit with Jonathan Bryce of OpenStack, the Executive Director. Jonathan, how are you? I'm doing really well. Great. Well, here we are at Open Compute. This is their fourth one. Yep. There's 1,900 people here. What do you see in this event that you have seen in OpenStack over the past few years? Yeah, I, th I think it's a... Uh... You know, several people have, have asked, you know, kind of what's the uh, connection between OpenStack and Open Compute, and um, I think that that there's uh, there there's really a, a very similar approach to different problems that that you know the OpenStack community and the Open Compute uh, community um, are attacking, and that's really how do we go in and disrupt kind of the established um, technology arena with uh, with openness. And you know, OpenStack is doing this for data center software. OpenStack is software to build clouds to manage uh, storage, compute, networking, and Open Compute is really doing this with hardware, with data center facilities, with the servers, with the power, um, you know, with with kind of the physical side of it. So you know, it's it's uh, it, the physical software, very different in, in how they're built, right. how the roadmaps evolve. But it's been really interesting to see some of the, the commonality when you take an open approach to it. I mean, the, like you mentioned, 1,900 people, they've got 1,900 registrants here. They've grown very quickly. OpenStack has grown very quickly. And I, I think what we, uh, <laughs> what we see is that um, when, you, when you open up a, uh, a, an environment, whether it's with software or hardware, um, you get a lot of passion. You get people who want to come in and help design the future, they want to uh, have more control over their destiny, changes the relationship between users and vendors, and, uh, and you know, I think that's, that's really where a lot of the, uh, the connection and the overlap comes So in. do you see um, people who are using OpenStack, and OpenStack is an operating system for building your own clouds. Right. And Open Compute really is, you know, they provide the specs for the hardware. Right. Are you seeing an overlap with people who are using OpenStack and who are starting to explore Open Compute? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, Rackspace made some announcements today here around um, some of the server work that they're doing with Open Compute. Uh, Rackspace is obviously a very large service provider that runs on OpenStack, um, an, an OpenStack company uh, that is uh, that's that's been you know one of the one of the uh, big startups in, in OpenStack is called Nebula, and they um, they do work with uh, with hardware appliances and OpenStack, and they do this in an open compute kind of design way. So there's there's definitely overlap. Um, I think that, that we're seeing with uh, with users. Um, a lot of times, you know, the you, you bring in cloud software to uh, to make a large scale compute environment more efficient. And uh, you know that's exactly what Open Compute is trying to tackle at the hardware level. So there's there's a lot of a lot of areas for uh, for overlap. And if you just just look at the makeup of the attendees and, and the companies that are here, um, you see a lot of them you know involved in, in OpenStack events as well. The organizations are different in terms of their structure. Though, yep. Right? Yes. Yeah. Um, what do you what do you think of their structure as opposed to what you guys are doing? I mean, they, obviously, I'm sure you think it's fine, but <laughs> what do you what do you see as the comparable differences? Well, help I, us give us some context about OpenStack. Sure. So, um, you know, I think I think that uh, OpenStack is is a little bit older, and uh, and um, I think that OpenStack is kind of working in in a, an area where open development and open technology is more established. You know, free and open source software has obviously been around for quite a while. There's a lot of precedent for how you build a community and grow a community and manage the software process and, you know, get people involved. And so, so we, um, you know, we have an organization uh, which is the OpenStack Foundation. That's an independent um, entity. We have a, a small full-time staff that, that coordinates all the activities of the community. Um, we have sponsors and companies who help fund those activities, and uh, and then we have a very large community of developers. I think we've had over 700 people now who have contributed code to OpenStack <coughs> that um, that help build the software. What you know, Open Compute has been doing is really trying to take some of those same principles mm -hmm. of, of open design and open development and apply them in a in what's really a completely new area in, in hardware. And, uh, and, and so I think that's, that's kind of, um, it's influenced how they've been structured and, and how they've been organized. There, there are a lot of similarities, you know, they do these summits, we do summits that are, that are similar, where we bring people together to have 
deep technology discussions and, and kind of drive the roadmap forward. Um, but in terms of, of you know, some of the organizational aspects of it, I think that, uh, that one of the things that, that they have, have focused on, um, again, you know, to, to kind of go and, and drive disruption into the, the hardware design process is um, they have, uh, they've been very uh, aggressive about getting end users involved into um, you know, that, that process. And, and um, you know, because it's not, it's just a new way of doing it. Right. And I think, I think you, know, right. you have to kind of proactively do that. Whereas in, in open source software, people kind of know how to get involved. And I think that's, that's one of the big differences. What do you see happening now that's like kind of like the dynamic forces behind this? It seems to me it's, it's pretty much comes down to fundamentally how data is scaling to such an extent. Yeah. And that, you know, you need to have it distributed across, you know, you know, multiple data centers in, in some cases or you know, in, a, in, a, in a horizontal kind of yeah. integrated way. Yeah. Um, and then you know, open compute is about that opening of the hardware because almost like this has to be done, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, <clears throat> I think, um, you know, people have talked about cloud as the return to the mainframe in, in some ways. And, and, and I think that, 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 you know, we had mainframes, we went to a lot of, uh, distinct systems, individual separate systems, and then now we were getting back to, to kind of aggregated systems. But the difference now, um, I think, between how, how things were 20 or 30 years ago is that, uh, that I think we've gotten much better and much more advanced at, at being able to, um, to take a bunch of hardware and aggregate it together and then divide it out into, uh, into pieces that users can, can ad adapt and um, customize to what their needs are. And so, so you know what we're seeing is more and more um, large pools of infrastructure rather than a lot of 10, 15 server type implementations. You see a lot of companies who are running data centers with thousands of servers. And and when you when you get to that scale, then small differences in power consumption become a big deal. Become a huge deal. Yeah. Small differences in um, you know in, in server density become right. become a very big deal. Right. And uh, and I think that's really driving a lot of these this. You, you know, you see it with with open compute. You see it with open stack. You also see it with the big data um, movement, and uh, and then um, you know just processing and analytics. There's so much activity going on in that space right now because I think we're we really have gotten to this point where we're learning how to aggregate, but also you know break things up into into discrete chunks so we can still specialize in areas of it. And but that aggregation is really what drives I think a lot of these these large scale changes. Great. Jonathan, thank you very much for taking some time to yes. talk. Thanks for talking. Great.